Hey guys, in this video we want to explain to you how to record HDMI footage on your computer. And in this case we are going to use a MacBook Pro. So even if your computer does have an HDMI port, that is usually an output and not an input. So we do need some extra device in order to uh, get the video from the HDMI cable into our computer. And we do this with the help of an HDMI capture card. This is usually a small extra device that we connect to our computer over USB. And this is going to be able to decode the HDMI data for our computer and then we can record it on there. So you can see here, in this case, we have an HDMI input and also an HDMI output. So if we wanted to, we can also connect the TV to here and watch the uh, footage on there. Then on the opposite side, we have here the USB port that goes to our computer. And in this case, we have a connector for an additional microphone and some headphones. Well, the setup of the device is really easy. So you just have here the USB cable that usually comes with the device and you plug this right in here and then the opposite end of the cable goes to our computer and then on the other side here of the device we have the HDMI input so that's where we plug in the uh, HDMI cable that comes from uh, our Xbox or our gaming system or a TV player or whatever we have so now you see here this cable here for the computer that gives us the option to either use USB-C or USB-A so in this case I'm going to use USB-C and then when you take a look at the capture card itself, you notice it is made out of metal. And that is because these cards get really, really hot when we use them. So you really want to make sure you don't uh, accidentally cover them with like papers or anything. Always keep them open, uh, out in the open so they get nice and fresh air to uh, cool down. And I usually also take here like a different piece of metal and that's where I place the capture card on top of so that the heat really dissipates away from the capture card and keeps it cool. Uh, otherwise you uh, may uh, see artifacts in your video recording or even the uh, capture card may fail over time. You also need to consider the correct resolution and frame rate on the output signal that your device like your gaming console puts out. So for example with a really high resolution you usually cannot go to uh, the standard of 60 frames per second because at least at this point the capture cards are usually not able to record 60 frames per second at the highest resolution. Uh, those are just probably going to come out in the future. If you were to try this at this point uh, you would probably see a black screen when it comes to trying to record it on your computer. Okay so now we have completed our hardware setup and we can continue here with the software. Now in order to actually record our video footage we're going to use the program QuickTime. So the QuickTime player which is pre-installed on a MacBook and in case you're working on a Windows computer you can find it to download as well. Now in order to start the recording under file we find new movie recording and as soon as you click this a uh, window pops up and here in this case right now it starts my uh, internal uh, my built-in webcam. So uh, we're going to click on this little arrow right next to the uh, record button and here we find USB uh, video. So we're going to select this and this will now uh, already switch over to our HDMI input and as you can see here this is this uh, Android TV player that I have and uh, so we're going to uh, press record, we're going to adjust the uh, vo recording volume, the audio volume also, you can do this here and now you can basically do whatever uh, you want to do. If you have a gaming console you can uh, record your game. You just need to consider one thing and that is the high resolution of the HDMI uh, signal. So there's going to be a lot of data coming in that uh, your computer is going to try to record and if you're going to take a look at the QuickTime recorder here you see on the right side of the uh, button panel here you see the amount of data that's been recording so far you can see within 40 seconds you're already at uh, more than 500 megabytes so uh, there's going to be a lot of data accumulating when you're going to take uh, longer recordings and you have to make sure that your hard drive is big enough to uh, capture all that kind of data so as soon as we are done our recording you're just going to press stop and then press save and save uh, give the file a uh, title that we want to give it and then within a couple of seconds it's going to uh, write it correctly to the hard drive. And that is already it. That's all we have to do. We just need this uh, HDMI capture card in order to properly uh, save the data or save the stream. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below.